This is the 2014 Alfa Romeo Giulietta. I'm going to be attempting to change the handbrake gator and this gear stick gator. I haven't been able to find a video on this, so this is going to be total trial and error. Worst case scenario, I'll break a clip, but at least you haven't got to. All I'm going to use is my plastic pry bars. You can feel, once you loosen up, the gator, push it down give yourself some playroom you can feel there's a clip here just here here and it three more at the top one just off center one in the corner and one just on this side here from what I can feel you need to put your hands in and pull the clip towards the center sort of towards the gear stick to release it these three are the closest grouped together so I'm gonna go for them first hopefully that will hold this end up I'm not sure how this silver trim is held in so just gonna see oh, that feels like that one's out bottom one then this right hand one Silver trim's coming up with it, but I don't know if that's a problem or not. We'll find out when I get the rest of it out. I'm gonna go for the one round, but if you can see around this side now first. Once I've got it with my fingers, just put the bri bar in there just to stop it from falling back into place. The one of this okay that come out well that's very easy right okay and the last one yep yeah, cool that just sits back in where it come from get a quick wipe I was easy on the foot as I expecting clips to be breaking, but it's all good. Now I'm going to attempt to take the handbrake gator off before trying to mess around with the new ones, seeing how they fit, because the new ones feel like a lot thicker leather and they might not have as much play as the old ones, so I'll try the handbrake first anyway. I can't feel much on this, it's quite tight, so there's definitely a clip back here. I think one on the opposite. I could definitely feel one at the front here. I'm gonna try, yeah, I'll try the front first. Yep, yeah, I can see. Right, that looks like a pop, not a snap. I don't think you can see that properly, but I've got this side up here, loose. I'm just going to keep my finger in there, keeping that, keeping that clip out. Work my finger around the front here, lifting up the other side. Right, okay. Right, that's the front. That yeah, front definitely loose. Oh, I shouldn't move the seat back really. If it's the same at the back, hopefully I can slide this forward instead of <sighs> right. Okay. It doesn't feel like too much resistance. Yep, there's one side out. Yep, cool. Right, we're off. Now this. Okay, that was a lot easier. Oh god, look at that crap. Yep, yeah, same thing there, just hooked through. The elastic on the front there holes through the lever, so well, the last one doesn't look like it's got that many. The new one rather doesn't look like it's got that many holes, so we're gonna have to. Right, 
the company that I bought the um the gators from they do sell the frames but if I can get around buying new ones I will but worst case scenario I know where to get them from Right, that's both of them off. These are my new ones. And these are the new ones I got from a shop on eBay. This is the gear stick gator. Kept with a red stitch in with the Italian stripes. And same with the handbrake gator. The shop I've got it from is JF Customs. I've had this car since October of last year and I've never really been able to find many sort of aftermarket upgrade not so much parts but just bits and bobs all around the car you know interior and exterior and this shop they do a ton they have a massive massive range just for the Giulietta as well just for the Giulietta they had um, suede and leather um, I nearly went with the red leather just just playing all over red leather red stitching handbrake and gear stick gator but with the door handles dash and the center console here being red carbon fiber wrapped if there wasn't the exact shade i feel like it could have it, it, it might have either thrown it off or been too much red so i went with the red stitching obviously same as the seats and the italian stripes and i think i've gone with the right choice here they look good so this one this doesn't have any holes like the the last one did to locate them to locate the clips let's get that away this has nothing on it so but with the stripe it's easy to centralize it with this i can't see what that does if you put it around here there's just you know there's too much here i can't see that clicking in and it's going to be in the way of clicking under there. So I'm going to leave it off and try it out first. The only thing is, I feel like, I don't know, tempted to glue these sides down just to keep the trims in the sides. The elastic's tight on both ends, but around here, I'm not too sure I'm going to give it a go anyway. Worst case scenario, do it again. I'm gonna do the side down the seat first, at least get that side in, then the side, if there is any trouble with getting the sides in, at least I can see properly. Well, I'm gonna push it as far back as I can, keeping to feel when there's tension on this against the trim of the car, so I know I'm all the way back. Just try and worm my way along to the front on that one side, keeping the lever tucked in all the way. Which I think, yeah. right, that sounded good. Just keep this little corner tucked in. Well, I think oh, I don't close my windows. The car's just pulled up. Yep. I think that's in. That feels like it's there. None of the none of the edge of the lever is showing. Keep that down. Keep as much slack on it as possible. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, that's all the way. That's fine. All the way up. Right, I'm well pleased with that. <laughs> yeah, I think I've gone with the right one there. Let's set it right off around the handbrake. 
it's still tucked in. I thought that would have had a bit of elastic to at least keep that down when you're putting the handbrake. When you put the handbrake down. But no, okay, cool. Right, this one, the gear stick gator doesn't look. They have put slits in it. I don't know if you can see them. I mean, that one's right through the join on the thread. That's not actually cut. No, that's not cut through. And I'm not going to cut it through. Right. At least this one can be done off the car. Hopefully, do it on the black trim, slide it back in, click it into place, and that should be it. Let's see how it goes. Well, I've unclipped. And the other thing about these, they got the button instead of the Velcro, which I think, I don't know why, I just think it looks a lot better. All right. So that's the way it's going to end up. Turning back at the front. Past the corners. Let's see, but that hole's all the way up there. I don't. I'll take it back. The stripes aren't quite central there. I don't know. Right, we're somewhere where we want to be. But I feel like those. If you can see those two lips there, they need to click down under the silver trim. So I feel like I don't know. I don't know. This is a lot thicker than the one that came off. So whereas the last one had the holes and looped over the clips and still sat flush, this is, feels fairly thick along there. So whether that will have the clearance for that lip to still catch, I can't see it happening we'll try we'll try we'll try i'll try tucking it right under Oh, no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Got to get our set up. Somewhere there. Right, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Right, go around feeding all these again.
Mm. Well, I'm going to take off and see how this fits with no gator at all. Can't tell if those two silver tabs either side of the clip. Right, they do, they do. Those have just this corner. Right, okay, they do, they do. That was hard to get it off on that car. Right, okay. So either side, those two little tabs do need to slide under the two tabs on here. I cannot see. Oh, I don't know. I can't see. Right, I had to cut out about 15 good minutes of footage there of swearing and a few deep breaths, but it's on, it's on, it's on. All the clips are in, it's solid.
maybe that's just me i'm not used to working with leather you know any fabric i'm a welder by trade i don't, I don't deal with fabrics no soft stuff <laughs> but after a bit of trying and error finding out which corner to like sort of put on first then that one then just messing around trying and error um it's on it's good definitely happy with the look All of the edges are tucked in nice, all the way around the frame. And on the handbrake gate as well, all under here. Down the other side you can't see, but I can feel that it's all in. All the clips feel solid. Well, like I say, the shop do everything. They do a massive range of the gaiters that I've just done. They do handle stitching that go from, say, here to here. Different patterns. They do the dash as well, and even this little console around here as well. They do that one. They do sun visor. They they even do one thing I'm very, very tempted to treat myself to. is a black suede headliner with red stitching. And that looks really nice going by the photos. And they do custom tailored um, floor carpets as well. Uh, different colored stitching different colored um sorry different patterns of stitching as well different i'm not sure if they do different materials but they look really nice they're really nice but um yeah i'm well happy with them i don't think they stand out too much definitely happy that i didn't go with the red i feel like that would have clashed way too much with the inside of my car but um yeah well up with them i'd definitely give their website a look it's actually an ebay shop it takes you to an ebay shop i'll put the link in description and um but yeah that was easy than thought anyway well the handbrake was that won't be doing that again anytime soon but uh thanks for watching cheers